this video will be for math 19.4 and 19.5. Before we start with our math pages though, let's do a quick review because it has been a while since we've looked at some patterns together. Here you have a couple examples of patterns. Let's take a look at the first one and see if you can make a prediction for what comes next in the pattern. Circle, square, circle, square. What do you think goes next? It's a circle. So we've done a shape pattern. Let's take a look at a color pattern as well. Green, blue, green, blue, green. What would go next? Blue. And let's take a look at our last example. Heart, diamond, rectangle. Heart, diamond. What do you need to go next? A rectangle. Great job. Let's also remember this important vocabulary phrase, pattern unit. Remember that a pattern unit is the smallest group of a pattern that repeats. So let's find out the pattern units for each one of these patterns. For example, in circle, square, circle, square, the pattern unit is a circle and one square. That's our beginning pattern unit. Let's take a look at our second pattern. Green, blue, green, blue. What's the repeating pattern unit? Green and blue. And for our last pattern? Heart, diamond, rectangle. Heart, diamond, rectangle. The pattern unit is heart, diamond, and rectangle. So pattern units can have sometimes two shapes, three shapes, even four shapes. Let's go ahead and get out math page 19.4. Please write name, number, date at the top. 19.4 is called number patterns. Remember, anytime throughout this video, if you need to pause to complete your work, please do so and then continue by pushing play when you're ready. Let's take a look at pattern units. Once you've written name, number, and date, let's look at the example. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. What goes next? One. Here are the directions. Circle the first pattern unit. Write the next number. Let's look at our first one that's completed for us. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. What goes next in this pattern? One. What's the pattern unit? The smallest group that keeps repeating over and over in this pattern? One and two. We'll do one more together. One, three, five, one, three, five, one, three, five. What goes next? One. Remember, we need to circle the first pattern unit. What's the first pattern unit here? The smallest group that keeps repeating? One, three, and five. Go ahead and continue on this page on your own, and when you're ready, turn. Here are the directions for the next side. Circle the first pattern unit. Continue the pattern, just like the front, except for this time, instead of only writing one number for the next part of the pattern, we actually need to write the next two numbers in the pattern. Let's look at our example together. Four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one. 
What goes next? Four, one. Remember to circle the first pattern unit. The smallest group that keeps repeating is four, one. Go ahead and continue this page on your own. You can press pause here and then we'll continue with directions for number eight at the bottom of the page. Number eight, circle the mistake in the pattern. Write the correct pattern. Oh, this is interesting. We need to circle a mistake. Something is wrong here in this pattern. You need to identify that mistake, circle it, and write the whole pattern correctly underneath. Let's take a look together. One, one, two, one, two, two, one, one, two. Look very carefully, find the mistake, circle the mistake, and write the whole pattern correctly on these lines down below. You can pause here, and when you're ready, let's continue with 19.5. 19.5 is called rhythmic patterns. This one's a lot of fun, and I encourage you to get up out of your seat and practice doing these motions because we actually need to use our body to create the pattern. Please write name, number, date at the top, and then when you're ready, stand on up and let's do this first rhythmic pattern together. Some of the motions that we are going to do include snapping, and if you're not good at snapping, no problem. You can just make your hands in the shape of what a snap looks like. Here's what a snap looks like. So if you just want to put your hand up like this, that's perfectly fine. Let's take a look at our first pattern that is made using sounds. It says snap, clap, clap. Snap, clap, clap. Snap, clap, clap. Let's try that together with the rhythm. Snap, clap, clap. Snap, clap, clap. Snap, clap. Great job. Let's go ahead and continue further down the page. Find a pattern unit. Circle what comes next. Let's take a look at this first rhythmic pattern and you can even do the motions together too. Snap, snap, tap. Snap, snap, tap. Snap, snap, tap. What goes next? Snap. Circle the word snap here at the end. There we go. But this time the directions are different. We do not need to circle a pattern unit. They only told us to find a pattern unit. So no circling any pattern units here. That's not needed. Go ahead and continue on this first page. And when you're ready, turn. Let's look at the directions for the back. Find a pattern unit. Circle what comes next. These directions are the same as the front. We'll do the first one together as an example. Tap, tap, snap. Tap, tap, snap. Tap, tap, snap. What goes next? Tap. Go ahead and do two and three on your own. You can pause here and then I'll read the directions for number four in just a moment. Number four, find the pattern unit. Draw circles and squares to show the same pattern. Let's take a look at what is already completed for us. We have clap, tap, tap, clap, tap, tap, clap, tap, tap. This time, Instead of writing the rhythmic pattern, we're going to replace them using shapes, like a circle and a square. Let's try this down below. Let's replace a clap with a circle shape just beneath it. And let's replace tap with a square. We have another tap, so we'll write another square. 
Let's continue this pattern all the way across the page. Every time you see a clap, write a circle, and every time you, every time you see a tap, draw a square. <laughs> 